with the local councilor on a block-to-block -block basis. How does that help the citizens of Toronto at all? So, it's it's going to be... Oh, Hemi! Hello, Dwayne. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. It's lovely to see you, as always, sir. Oh, thank happy you. Bike Month. Happy, happy Bike Month. Uh, in the in uh, Toronto's Year of the Bicycle, 2012. Year of the Bicycle, yeah. yes. I, I, uh, I, I look at it as a, uh, a prediction as we go through the year. I think the, uh, the Jarvis bike lane issue is going to be such a polarizing issue that this will be looked back on as uh, Toronto's year. Thank you. <laughs> You're very Have a great day. So, Councillor Denzel Min Wong, who is a member... He's the uh, chair of the uh, Public Works and Infrastructure Committee, and he's also, at least he was, a member of the uh, Toronto Cyclists Union, which is now rebranded as Cycling Toronto. And he was introduced in place of the mayor. The mayor didn't show up. He didn't have his way in to go to. He's canceled that as well. But he didn't show up again this year at Bike Week. And uh, Denzel Minnan... Bike Month. Uh, bike Month. And, uh, and Denzel Minnan... Sorry, yeah, Bike Month. Uh, and Denzel Min and Wong, uh, uh, it was delegated to represent the mayor here and, and read the proclamation. And when the CP24 host of the event announced Denzel Min and Wong, there was dead silence. You could drop a pin in here, and, or out here, and you could hear it. Um, there was no booing. It was a very polite Canadian response, but absolutely no one clapped. And it's because uh, Denzel Min and Wong, in collusion with the mayor's office and other councillors, uh, manipulated the process at the Public Works and Infrastructure Committee to silence not only the public, but city staff, the people that we taxpayers are paying to come up with the information on whether or not the plans that the uh, politicians want to put in place are safe for us to use, if the streets are safe. They completely ignored that to the extent that they uh, manipulated the process to avoid any input from staff. So when the Jarvis bike lane approval was rescinded by the Public Works and Infrastructure Committee and offered to City Council as a whole to vote on that, <coughs> the safety impact of what they were trying to do was not considered. I think it's criminal. And that was the reaction? Yep. And, Dems, and the, and the, the, the public understands. So we didn't boo, but uh, there was absolutely no love given. And we know that the office of love is not hate, it's indifference. The office of love is not hate. It's indifference. And that's exactly what Denzel Min and Wong got from this crowd today. Well, Wayne Scott, thank you for sharing uh, some of your initial thoughts on Jimmy Syed, it's always a pleasure. So I never, I would like to do it, but uh, yeah, you need a bike like that. When you were born here?
already uh, flirting with 20 degrees. It is more refreshing down by the water and along the lake shore because you get the southerly winds. The beautiful thing about living on the north shore of Lake Ontario. And those winds come into the south, which is the usual direction where it's happening to that exceptional heat. They pass over the lake this early in the year. The lake is still pretty cool. So you do get a bit of a refreshing breeze. If you don't have AC, if you just really find this unbearable, get down to the lake and you will get some relief. Stay hydrated. Keep your sunscreen on. Keep your hat on. Here's how it plays out for the next uh, seven days, because if you really don't like it, you don't have to wait all that long for things to change. The thunderstorms tonight will act uh, in that transition between the heat and humidity. Where are you? Thanks. Very cool. Are you wearing the cow? Okay, guys, let's move. Don't worry, we're gonna build one of this. Hey man, let them put them in. Let you put it right back. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. I'll help you ride it back. One by one. Hey, Jenga. Hey, Jenga. Come on. Hey, Jenga. Hey, Jenga. Hi there. Your name is? Brent. Brent, and you have created your own bicycle. That's right, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about this wonderful bicycle? I, uh, back in 2002, just built this bike around this couch so that uh, with a friend I could uh, travel across the maritime provinces of Canada, do a little bike trip. Um, so we rode partway down the coast of New Brunswick and uh, and all the way across Prince Edward Island. Covered about 500 kilometers total. Wow. And since then we've had it out uh, just for occasions like this, bike to work month. So how did it end up in Toronto? Uh, the Toronto Cyclist Union invited me here. So, okay. Yeah, I uh, had to bring it in a van to be honest. But could have ridden it if I had more time. Uh, the elements, we're expecting rain later in the week. There's a lot of rain in the Maritimes. Yeah. How do you we, deal uh, with that? On our trip, we were actually pretty lucky. We didn't get a lot of rain, but when we did, we had a tarp that we'd covered the couch with. Uh, and it kept the couch couch dry, which was good. But uh, unfortunately, uh, as we sunk into the cushions of the couch, it just the water just sort of pooled around us. It was unpleasant. And what do people take away from this after they've ridden it, just like we've seen this morning? I guess uh, I think everyone takes something different away from it, but uh, I guess I hope to just demonstrate to people that uh, you can apply human power in all, in all sorts of different modes. Like a bicycle is a really efficient way of traveling around, but bicycles can, can assume all different forms. You can have recumbents, you can have tricycles, you can have rowing bikes. I actually have quite a big collection of bikes. Some that are, that are really unique, like, like bikes that you row and, and bikes that you pedal with your hands. And, um, is this a one-of-a-kind, the is, couch? Uh, one-of-a-kind, yeah. Well, thank you very much and happy Thanks. bike month. <laughs> nice to meet you.